Hello everyone, this is Dr. Alex. I just want to ask you something. Have you ever experienced writing an article or a research paper where you manually encoded or typed the name of the author and year of publication inside the parentheses? How about having a hard time preparing the references? The format I mean. Say, which one should be certain italic? Which one should have translation marks? Things like that. What did you use, right? Well, it's time to say goodbye to that. You wanna know how? Watch this. First, what is citation? According to p.org, citation is the way you tell your readers that a certain material in your work came from another source. It's so important to cite sources because that is the only way we can give credit and acknowledge the sources. At the same time, we can possibly get rid of plagiarism. As we all know, plagiarism is the act of stealing or using someone's work and claiming it as your own, and that's not good. Speaking of citation, there are two types, in-text citation and reference citation. Do you know the difference between the two? Well, when we say in-text citation, the sources of information are briefly identified in the text. It's like this. And when we say reference citation, it pertains to the list of sources alphabetically arranged at the last part of the publication or the paper. Just like this. And now I'm going to teach you how to add citations in MS Word. Say, for instance, my topic is the importance of history in our life. Sources, book, website, and interview. First, I'm going to highlight the one that I have extracted from the book entitled Meaning and History, the Result Lectures. This one, okay? And I am now going to cite the particular book. First thing that I'm going to do is to put the cursor here before the period. Since there's a lot of space, I'm not going to click References, Insert Citation, Add New Source, okay? That's a book. And then, I'm going to write here the author's name. I'm Beth R. Ocampo. And the title of the book, Meaning and History, The Result Lectures. Year 2001. Next, we have Classic City. Then, Publisher, we have Anvil. Click OK. I'm sure you can see this placeholder. This is an indication that this in text citation is connected to our reference, which I'm going to show later. Next, we have the source okay it's a web from a website so i'm going to copy the url first then i'm going to go again to the last word and then before the period space then insert citation add new source it's not a book anymore it's a website so click website before i forget of course i have to paste first the url then author as you can see there are many names there and the author's names are arranged alphabetically so i'm just going to click corporate author i'm going to write here the first surname there is dune then this one L. it means dune and others okay and the name of web page we have history concepts followed by the website alpha history then the year 2011 month and day is not indicated perhaps we're just going to write nd for no date click ok once again we have another placeholder here and for the last one this is an interview so once again cursor there insert citation add new source Let's look for that one interview. Where is it? Okay, click interview. 
can we're going to write here Kendra Santos. Title History Matters. And we have here interviewer Zachary DeFonso. Year 2019, August 8th. Okay, click OK. So once again, we have here another placeholder. So if we're going to go back, we have Santos, Dun et al, 2011, Ocampo, 2001. Okay, first I'm going to copy paste everything and place it here. So the ones in red, they are the so-called in-text citation. Once again, click reference, click bibliography, click references. Now we have this one. So in the references, whatever I have entered while I am writing the in-text citation, is already here okay so as simple as that i hope you learned something from me today bye everyone